Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorials. In this video, we will see how you can create a YouTube component. So here you can see I have created a YouTube component for you. So it is showing a YouTube video and it is also editable. If I double click over here, it will show a URL where you can change the URL and we can see a different video from YouTube. And if I go to preview mode, I can play this video and I can also zoom it. Let's go back. So this is what we are going to create in this video, a YouTube component and we will also make it editable. So let's create this component. Go to the CXD console and create a project in this apps folder. So create, create a folder for our project and I'm naming it training. Click on OK, save this. Now under this training folder, create two more folders. Uh, and the folder name should be templates and components templates save this and create one more folder create folder and name it components click on ok save this and within components I will create two more folder so create folder and naming it page here I will make page components and one more component folder here I am naming it as content so in this folder I will create content component save this now first create a page rendering component within this page folder so right click and create component and label it as a page component in the title again page component and the super type would be WCM foundation components page Click on next, click on OK. Now save this. Now copy the path of this component. So let me copy the relative path. Now go to templates and create a template here. Name it as page template. Title again page template. And in the source type, I will paste the path of this page component. So this is the relative path and I am putting ranking as 1. Click on next and in the allowed path give it a content. Provide a relative path here dot asterisk question mark. This, uh, this is a expression, regular expression. Click on next, click on next and OK. Save this. Now in this page component, replace this .jsp by HTML because this will be our Sightly component. Save this and open this file. Clear the data. Save this and now go to the GitHub repository. This is my GitHub repository. You can also go here and you can find the link of this in my description below. Then this repository go through the developer course. I have already created a code. I have already prepared a code for you. So go to the chapter 13. You can find the code in this content page. Copy the code and paste here. Save this. Here I have parses and uh, I'm including init.gsp so that parses should work properly. Save this and now let's go and create a page. Go to the site console and create a page here. Create and create page. Select this page template which we have created. Click on next and name it as a YouTube page. Click on create and done. Now if we open this page, we should see the parses over there. So it is go to edit mode. It is working perfectly fine. Here we have that parses. Now let's create a YouTube component. Go to CXD and within the content, let's create our YouTube component. So create, create component and name it as YouTube component. Again, YouTube component. Let's skip the description and in the super type, skip this and in the group, keep it AM tutorial. Click on next. Now click on OK. Now save this. 
in this file replace the dot gsp by dot html open this file and clear this data go back to again into my github repository i have already created a code for you so click on this youtube and copy this code paste here here i have this iframe where the width is 420 and height is 345 and this is the src where we have the url of our youtube video and save this now again now to make this now to enable this component we have to create a node called edit config so click here and create a node name it as cq colon edit config and the type would be again cq colon edit config click on ok save this now it should be enabled so go to the page and refresh this let's see if it has been enabled or not go to the design mode click here and uh, look for our group that is aim tutorial it has been selected click on ok and uh, go back to edit mode and double click over here and select this youtube component it should display our youtube component here you can see the video so now our youtube component is ready now we have to make it editable so to make it editable we have to create the touch dialog so to create a touch dialog go back to our component now i will be using title component so go to the lips go to the wcm foundation components foundation components go to the title component and copy the cq dialog from this component come back and paste your cq dialog here now let's edit this cq dialog so go back to properties pane and change this title to youtube component save this and now open this cq dialog and delete this title node we don't need this so delete this and save it now open this title node and rename this i am renaming it as video save this and uh, in the properties of video change some properties let's change the name first i am keeping it as video so this will be the variable name save this and uh, change the field title as video url save this let me include this field description i don't need this save this now our video will be saved in this variable so copy this variable name and change the range the source delete this and here put the cycle expression dollar curly basis properties dot video and save this now go to the page and uh, refresh this page double click over this and put the video url so let me go to youtube and copy the embed code let's go to open my notepad and paste here from this embed code copy this src so go to this go to the page and put the value here and save this so here you can see the video has been changed so this way if you want different video then you can put the different src you can go to the youtube and you can play your video and uh, you can pause it and you can copy the embed code again and put it into the notepad and uh, copy this src and again go to the page and change the src video url and save this so this way you can change the url of your youtube component and make it editable i hope now you understand how to create a youtube component and how to make it editable thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching